Well, let's take a look and see what family we've got here this week. Hi, we're the Yuva family. I'm Jeff. This is my wife, Rosemary. We have two sons. We have Trevor, who is seven, and Travis, who is four. I'm Travis. Night, light. I'm the owner and director of a preschool. I basically retired from the car business. Pretty much of my time is devoted to them in the last recent months. I'll cook it. I'm a stay-at-home dad now. Never get your feet off the table. Jesus. I just kind of let them do their own thing. Just kind of just giving up. Get over here. Where are you going? That doesn't really manage the boys very well. Jeff comes to my work with Trevor and Travis until I'm ready to leave. When the kids are at the preschool, they think they can get away with everything and anything. I hope you're having fun. They don't shed an example to the other children. Oh my God, you just got your paper in your drawer. I get very stressed out by four o'clock in the afternoon. Hey, hey, hey. I'm pulling my hair out with both of my kids there. I have no energy left when I go home to give myself to my own children. They do not respect either one of us. I got a nickname for you. What's that? Ass. To get to the point where there's gonna be no turning back, it's gotta be fixed. Oh my God. Super Nanny, we really need your help here. Please come help my family. You guys could do with Nanny Jojo's help. I'm on my way. Hi. Hi. I'm pleased to meet you. This is my husband. Hi. Joe, hi. Hi, I'm Jeff. When Joe first got here, I felt like, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. This is Travis. Hi, hi, Travis. Pleased to meet you. You say hi. Shake Jojo's hand. And this is? This is Trevor. Trevor. Hi, Trevor. Pleased to meet you. Shake Jojo's hand. Pleased to meet you. And how old is Trevor? Seven. When I arrived and I met the boys, both of them ignored me. They didn't want to acknowledge that I was there. I think hi? they've got an idea why I'm here. Get down. Oh. Get down. Oh. Almost immediately, Trevor started giving mum attitude. Well, he doesn't like listening to mum by the looks of it. No. Is that common? doesn't listen to either one of them. Uh. <laughs> Ow! <gasps> Trevor, stop. Trevor. They're quite aggressive with one another with those bags. Trevor's the motivator, usually. Right. Mum and Dad seem fine to stand by and watch the boys run amok. <laughs> Once I was inside, I got a clearer picture. The boys do what they want. Mum and Dad just ignore it. <laughs> Trevor, you want to eat or what? Trevor, what? you want something to eat now or later? Whatever. This boy certainly doesn't have any manners and he needs to have some respect. What are you doing? Trevor, get up. Get off the floor. You run a daycare centre? Yes, I have a preschool. I love it, but I'm exhausted and adding my own kids to it. It's a nightmare. I work all the time and I don't see him much and he's Mr. Mom now. <laughs> So, with Dad being the homemaker, what's that like? They've just gotten worse, not better. Since Rose's business has taken off, I was able to step back from my career and um, be the stay-at-home dad. It's kind of been a disaster. I used to have a really close bond when I was a stay-at-home mom, and I've lost that bond over the last year. Rosemary and Jeff have made changes over the year, but it seems like it hasn't worked out as planned. This is Travis's room, and I've cleared a little path <laughs> to get to the closet. The first thing I noticed about the children's rooms was that they are bombarded with so many toys. 
and then those toys are just trashed. I mean, that's the right word because they have no respect for any of their toys. Well, I'm going to leave this room because I'm a bit worried that I'm going to break some toys if I tread on them. <laughs> Let's go. Food time. Come on. At dinner time, Dad was struggling to get the boys to sit at the table. Eat. Sit. Sit down. But once they got there, the attitude started to flare. Get over there and eat. Oh, come on. Come on. Sit down. I'm going to punch your butt I'm I'm sure. again. No, just sit down and eat. Go pick that up. You'll pick it up, garbage man. You want some corn? No! When the kids disrespect me and the name calling, what? it's not a good feeling, but I just let it go. This is uh, pretty typical. It's really appalling the way the boys talk to their parents, but Jeff and Rosemary just stand there and take it. What time do the children go to bed then? They kind of have their own schedule. Go to bed when they feel like it. I go to bed and a lot of times they're up still. The children go to bed whenever it suits them, which is absolutely bizarre. You have five minutes and you're taking a bath. Five minutes and you're taking a dump. Are you taking a bath? I don't want to take one. I asked and you said you were taking a bath. Get in the tub, stop. What? Where you see Jeff right now, that's what he does all night. He will either sit on his computer, sit at that table. I think any dad would give anything to be able to stay home and not have to work. And I think that my husband should be grateful for staying home, and he's not. And this is the other problem I have. Trevor, he will not wipe his own butt. Excuse me? My four-year-old can wipe his own butt, and my seven-year-old can't. No, Trevor poops and runs. No, Travis at least poops and tries to wipe. Trevor may not be perfect about it, but he does it. That's because you do it for him. And he, he has the toilet paper. Yeah, Kenny could tie his shoes. He could wipe his own ass. Wait a minute. Wait. We're being, so you're being serious here? You actually wipe his own bottom. Oh no! He's gonna sit there and scream for an hour. He will. Scream. I will let him sit on the toilet for ten I won't minutes, and he him. will scream. I was shocked. I was shocked that this mother was asking for the toilet roll to wipe her son's bottom. He's seven years old. <laughs> Are you tired? <laughs> do you want to go to bed, Travis? <laughs> Can I go do my laundry? Yeah. What are you going to do? I don't know. Jeff, I have to do my laundry. Yeah. Mum's just reached her limit. She's not getting any support from Dad, so I pulled her aside so I could talk to her about it. I'm exhausted. I have no energy left at the, by the end of the night to do all this laundry. You feel quite torn, like I can see it in your eyes as you're talking. What's got you torn? My kids. Maybe I'm not here enough. Maybe I work too much. You know, when I'm at work, every parent there tells me I'm a great person. I take care of their kids. Those kids are my life. But I don't have anything left for my own. Mum knows that she doesn't give enough time to the boys but she also doesn't get enough support from Jeff, and he's gonna to need to get more involved. Coming up on Supernail. Super Dad! Mom's preschool is run by bullies. Did you just hit her with the ball after I asked you to stop? And these parents have given up the fight. What are you teaching your children? Nothing. And whose responsibility? Us, we just gave it up. When Super Nanny returns, I have a stub rearranging the furniture. Oh boy, Mum wasn't kidding when she told me that the boys decide when they want to go to bed. Ah, you ready to go to bed, Travis? Tired. We've got an exhausted mum here, a dad who's not getting involved enough, and two boys who are playing on this. Move over, Travis. How Rosemary thinks putting the boys into her bed is going to help the situation, I do not know. Good night. I decided not to hang around until the boys fell asleep because we had a lot more work to do in the morning. Well, I'd like to thank you both for a really good day because I've seen plenty. 
and I look forward to seeing you both tomorrow. Okay. Okay, good All night. Right. Good night. Good night. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. The Yuva family spend a lot of time at the preschool, so I decided to turn up to see exactly how the boys interact with the other children. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Yeah. Hi, nice good, to meet you good, again. Good, good. Thank you. Look at this, look. This is my preschool. I left Rosemary to get on with some work and went out back to the playground. It was a nice experience to walk into Mum's preschool and see all these little children running around. And then there was Trevor and Travis sticking out like two sore thumbs. Just destroying the property in the backyard. No, you know that you are not allowed to be doing this, Trevor. Intimidating, picking on other children. Look at this. Hi, Travis. Do you girls play with Trevor and Travis? No, no. See? Like first ball that so what do you girls do when that happens? We run the other way when he's starting to throw it at us. Mm. Trevor, do not throw balls at her. Trevor is always winning. Make a shot! Trevor and Travis are the most naughty in that playground. And mum and dad just ignore it. Do not throw balls at them, you're going to hurt them. Look at the little girls in there shuddering because of the way Trevor's behaving. That's intimidation. And he's bullying. Why did you just hit her with the ball after I asked you to stop? Trevor, come here. I'm not going to chase after you. What do you do as far as any form of discipline? For Trevor, it's normally I send him into his mom. I just, it stresses me out. You know, I have 15 yeah, other children exactly. that I have to watch. When my kids act up or around other children, I just kind of feel helpless. Let's go down the slide, guys. Where the is my ball? Oh. Do not use those words outside for my other children to hear. The teachers are in a no-win situation. They would normally call the parents to come and collect the child, but the parents are their boss who own the preschool, and the bosses do nothing to curb their children's behavior. Have a seat right now. Do you need me to go get your mom? Oh, I've seen plenty here. Mum and dad have got complacent with the boys, and that needs to change. My word, a business that belongs to the family, and I'm sure you're very proud. I am of that preschool. It's taken a lot of hard work for it to be successful. So well done. But when did you give up? A couple months ago. No, it's been longer than that. Well, it all changed once I purchased the school. Homemaker now. Mm -hmm. Before you were working outside the home, I'm sure it was a job that gave you great satisfaction and you had much pride in what you did, correct? Yes. I want you to find pride in what you're doing now because you're like a babysitter. You sit back and you just let the kids get on with it. That's a good definition, yeah, yeah. babysitter. Which brings me on to the next issue. It's the responsibilities that your sons have at the age of seven and four. They don't have any. <laughs> They don't make their own beds. They don't tidy up after themselves. They don't get themselves washed. I mean, come on. I even saw you wipe Trevor's bottom. Seven years old. What are you thinking? I guess I've just, I haven't been there enough either to give them the skills for it. Jeff. I agree on a lot of that, uh, especially the, the wiping thing. I won't go near that. I tell her, it's crazy. Let's move on to the profanity. Where do we begin? <laughs> I mean, I don't find that funny. I tune it Just out. tune it out. But it's not going to go away, is it? You know, Trevor is really aggressive. I mean, he just bullies the children in preschool. The staff are doing the best they can to be able to stop your boys from intimidating the other kids. And they come to you. Mm -hmm. But you don't go out there and do anything. I don't know what to do anymore. What are you teaching your children? Nothing. Mm -mm. And whose responsibility? Us. We just gave it up. 
you know how heavy that statement is? I think I put so much into my life at my school. I don't know if I just don't have anything left when I come home. Your kids need you both. I know that and I see it. We always have something in the way instead of giving ourselves to them. That's our fault. That's being selfish. But you're robbing yourselves. Nobody wins here. Because you don't come together in recognizing what's important for your boys. I miss that family that I had. So how badly do you want it back? A lot. I'm ready for a change. And whatever it's gonna take, it'll be better than what's happening now. Whether, you know, if it means sacrificing or hard work or whatever, I mean, it needs to get done. Ready, ready yeah. to go. All right, let's get started as soon as possible. Good. Coming up on Super Nanny. Hi. Joe's tired of toying Hi. around. We're taking everything out of the room. No, I don't want me to go in And mom goes MIA at bedtime. Where's mom? I love you. I'm about to drag her out of that bedroom as she's in there. What are you doing? When Super Nanny returns. But first, a tip from Super Nanny. Dads, if a change in career means you're now the homemaker, then take pride in the new role you have. Multitasking can be really challenging, but don't be discouraged. Utilize your time wisely. Make a routine so that you can get those house chores done and then you can go and have fun with the kids. If Jeff's going to be a stay-at-home dad, he needs to stop dropping the boys off at daycare and participate more at home. And that starts with a routine. The Yuba family routine. Check this out, look. Now everything in green is your responsibility. <laughs> My first reaction to the routine was I kind of laughed at it because I didn't think that Jeff would be able to follow it. You're now going to be Mr. Homemaker and you're going to take pride in what you do because it's valuable what you do. I think having the routine gives me some balance throughout the day versus just winging it. Everything in blue is going to be you, Rosemary. All right, so get home at six. Pass on whatever duties you need to do. Tomorrow's another day. My part of the routine is a little hard for me. I'm gonna have to start to delegate my work and so I can get out of work on time and be home with my family. So now we've done the routine, let's move on to the next thing. Look at these. They're called the Talking Towers because they're all about the language we use. And Jojo has observed some language that is not good. The children's language is inappropriate, to say the least. If you can show mummy and daddy how well you can curb your tongue, which means not using the bad words, every day they give you a balloon, and when you've got 10 balloons, it means you get a special reward. When Joe first brought the talking towers in, I didn't think that it was going to work. Trevor and Travis have a bit of a mouth and they could care less what anybody else says. Next, I wanted to take care of the boys' messy rooms. Trevor and Travis's bedrooms are a huge mess. They never tidy up. But why would they? Mum and Dad do everything for them. And if you want to play with your toys, means you've got to tidy them up as well. No, I'll start here. Trevor started to tidy up, but he was still reluctant to finish, and Travis didn't want to bother at all. Look, you look at all your trains. See how many you have? It didn't matter what we said to encourage them. They just weren't moving. Travis, come here. Travis, stop whining. They just didn't want to tidy up. It was obvious we weren't getting anywhere, so I had to take some drastic measures. We're taking everything out of the room, and we're leaving the trains, and we're leaving the connect. Every day they show they can tidy up their rooms, they'll get a confiscated toy back. So everything that's on the floor has to be put in boxes, otherwise it goes in a bag. No, no, I don't want to go there. Then start cleaning. Travis started crying hysterically. I found myself wanting to comfort him, but Joe had me just continue to focus on, you know, cleaning all of his toys out of his room. 
Go ahead. Come on. Well, you need to go help mom clean it, or you need to clean it. I felt great, and I could see the floor. Walking out of Trevor's room with a garbage bag, at least the floor's accessible now, and I don't have to walk and trip over things just to get in there and make the bed. At the end of every day, if you do that, mommy's gonna start giving you back your toys, okay? I think that Travis will understand that he will get back his toys as long as he shows respect for his belongings. I just hope that mum keeps on giving them the opportunity to be able to prove themselves. All right, I'll leave it up to the pair of you okay. Okay. to uh, start off the routine. It's crazy that these boys dictate their own bedtimes. So this evening, I'm going to walk mum and dad through the bedtime routine. This is going to help to calm the children down and give them quality time with their parents in the evening. When it came to the bedtime routine, they knew that they were going to get quality time with each one of us. The only problem I knew would run to is Travis when it came to um, actually going to sleep. <laughs> Good night. No, I'm not going to sleep with you. No. Nope. Good night. You're going right now into the stay in bed technique. First time you put him into bed, you say it's bedtime, darling. The second time you say bedtime, the third time you say nothing. Either he sleeps in my bed or I lay in his bed. Or oh, great. In the and you'll be divorced within a year and a half, love. The hardest part about the stay in bed technique is I can't crawl into bed with him <laughs> and go to sleep, and I'm used to that. Oh, there's a light on. Mom was back and forth in Travis's room. And then she went missing. Where's Mom? I love you. I'm about to drag her out that bedroom if she's in there. What are you doing? Yeah. This is very hard for me, and I admit that. This was really difficult for Rosemary because this is her special time with the boys. But with the routine in place, it means she'll be able to give them lots of time during the day so that she doesn't have to get her cuddles at bedtime. It's just gone 8 o'clock. Trevor's already sleeping, and his time was 8.30. So well done. The pair of you have worked well this evening. And look, now you've got your evening together. I didn't know what to do with myself. <laughs> I'm usually falling asleep with them, and here I was actually up, and my kids were in bed for the first time. Coming up on Super Nanny. Yeah! No, we got to go outside. Getting in the game brings Dad to tears. No, are you OK? <laughs> I'm okay. But mom seems content on the bench. Rosemary, if you don't get a grip, you're in for a big lot of trouble, let me tell you. When Super Nanny returns. If your family needs Super Nanny's help, apply online at www.abc.com or call toll free 1 877 Nanny Time. Jeff's initial efforts at being a homemaker are quite lazy, but I do know that he wants to change. I think we can turn him around. What you'll do is, to make it easier for yourself, is write out from Monday to Friday the chores. So let's start off first by putting this all away. My wife's got her career, and now it's my turn to be the homemaker. I'm taking this homemaker position real seriously. Move on to sorting out other things that need to be done within the chores. Since Joe's been here, she's brought in this structure for me to be Mr. Homemaker and I could see it's already starting to work. Give me five! Look at you, you got this down! Later on in the day, whilst I was talking to Dad, we heard a distressed call coming from the bathroom. He wants somebody to wipe his bottom. OK. He's in there. This is ridiculous! Trevor is seven years old. We need to put a stop to this now. Well, do it yourself. Well, that's good. Dad and I just gave him encouraging words to carry on doing it himself. All right, we'll let you get on with the rest. Use the soap, hot water, and wash your hands real good. I think it's great. Trevor is wiping his own butt. There's no turning back. My wife does it. I'll pull her out of the bathroom if she thinks she th thinks about it. Normally, Dad would drop the boys off at preschool in the afternoon, but today he made a big step forward and he decided to spend some good quality time with the boys at home. Oh, Ooh, you won. Trevor scored the winning goal, but Travis, he didn't like that. No! Yeah, he won. Try again! No, we gotta go outside. He won. We, that was the rule. Next goal wins. No, why do you wanna break the game? 
Cause why? Well, you did good. Play. You I will play again. I will play later. I will play again. Travis didn't like losing, and even though Dad gave him a warning, he just wouldn't let up. See this kicking? Yeah. Is he being aggressive with you? Yeah. Take him straight to the multi bench. Come on, Travis. Right, this is the blue one. Okay, come away. I just felt like I'm uneasy at first putting him there because he was he was so upset. And you know, they, they weren't fake tears, he was basically crying. Don't talk to him, don't talk to him. Jeff had given up disciplining the boys, so for him to follow through with the naughty bench was a big move. And I know I wasn't supposed to comfort him, so I didn't. Travis could see that Dad wasn't joking, and he eventually sat there. Four minutes start from now, Dad. <laughs> Travis, come down. And you know why you're here? Mm -hmm. Sit back on the bench and Good. come down and use eye contact. Hey, look at me. You know why you're here? You kick daddy, right? That's naughty, right? Hmm? Yeah, you say you're sorry to daddy? Sorry. You're not gonna do it no more? You promise? Okay, come here, bud. It was just, it went right to my heart. I mean, something I've never felt before. Oh, you're making me cry. You're all emotional. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm okay. This is a big moment for Jeff. Just by disciplining Travis, he's gained more confidence as a parent and his boys respect him. I know. It's not usually that close. You're not usually that close. It's not usually what it, how it works. Come here. Oh, proud of you. You did really well. All right, Dad, let's have some fun. Very proud of Dad. And that he was so happy that he was able to implement discipline. And I think everything had just come at once for him, you know? It's the first time that he's ever disciplined the children successfully. It's not just at home that the boys need discipline in. They also need it at the preschool as well. So we headed over there because they get very aggressive with the other children. It's mine! Travis taking the ball from that young girl over there. Come here. Travis just took the ball away from me. OK, let's go talk to him, OK? I saw Travis take a basketball off a little girl, and Mum went over to correct what had happened. Did you take this ball from her? I got it. It was mine. Did you take this ball from Breezy? I got this one. Are you not sharing? It's mine. I got it. Instead, she pacified Travis, so I had to pull her away and have a word with her. I wasn't happy with what I saw. You can't discipline your own child. I feel bad because he's mine and I don't want him to be mad at me. And it's easier for me to continue working and just let him... Can you hear what you're saying? I just thought, Rosemary, cut the excuses. Take some responsibility here. Let me tell you something, and this is straight now. Rosemary, if you don't get a grip, you're in for a big lot of trouble, let me tell you. You've got two boys, four and seven, that have got attitude. If you don't remain consistent when you're in your own school, then what are you going to be doing for them? I just don't know how to get them to know the rules and to read. By doing it, Rosemary, you know where to put those children when they're aggressive. You place them straight onto a naughty bench. The tools have been set up for you, but you've got to want it. I do, that's why you're then here. Then show me. Show yourself, show your husband, show your kids. So where do I start? You start right here. Jo is, I feel as though it's a little hard on me, but I know she does it for the right reasons. I just want my life back. Then take it and say, right, I'm going to change things. Come on. It ain't that bad, huh? It ain't that bad. You can do it. You can do it. Guys, I'm off for a while. Not having Joe around for the next few days is going to make it even harder for me because I don't have someone looking over my shoulder. Trevor, Jojo's going now, but I'll see you in a while when I come back, OK? I can do these things that Joe's taught us for the next few days while she's gone. And I could feel confident I can get it done. Travis, bye, darling. Bye. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're all too hungry. I've worked really hard with Rosemary and Jeff, and if they seriously want change, they're going to have to step it up while I'm away. OK, guys. Bye. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Bye. Coming up on Super Nanny.
Mom teaches the boys some new words. Smart ass. Now I freaking got my ass chewed out from the nanny the other night. Great brat. And Joe's not pleased. What happened there? He's just as bad. You need to take responsibility. When Super Nanny returns. But first, a tip from Super Nanny. Parents, when you're dropping your children off to school, don't make it any harder than it needs to be. If your children start to cry, then do them a favor and don't loiter. Hang up their bags and their coats, engage them in an activity, and leave immediately, confidently reassuring them that she'll be back to pick them up later. Yeah. All right, Dad, playing hockey with the boys. This is some good quality time. I'm glad to see you got them out the house. Come on, go, go. Good job. Not taking the boys to daycare. Wanna go again? Huh? <laughs> good job, Trevor. Maybe she's getting a roller derby. Everybody was really having fun. Fantastic. Are they supposed to be playing with that? Are those the toys we confiscated? Trevor, get your head out of that bag. So is one of you going to get up and stop them? Right. Because that's not the stuff that you shouldn't even be playing with in the first place. You kind of clean your room, but yet you can play with it. What's the point in disciplining the boys if you're not going to follow through? Good, Mom. You're getting a chance to bond with Trevor. I really don't enjoy playing sports with Trevor. I am emotionally drained. I give everything to my work. What kind of attitude is that? I know Trevor can sense it. Don't pop my windows. Try not to lie and drive them. Scare me. Just hit the floor. That's sad, Rosemary. We're really going to have to work on this. I think Trevor and Travis have learned their swear words either from TV shows or um, other people speaking in general. Oh, Mom, where did you think they learned that from? Their dad has taught them a lot of their um, bathroom talk. <laughs> Jerk. Stop. Smart ass. Everybody else is to blame but you. I know, I freaking got my ass chewed out from the nanny the other night. You want to say hi to Grandma? Here, Grandma Jean is on the phone. Say, so take the phone. God, they're such brats. Great brat. Rosemary, your behavior is out of order. Right, are you guys ready to take a look? Yes. Okay. Come on, ready, go. <laughs> Shane, right here. That's sweet. Kick it. Come on, go, go. Go, 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 I'm coming up. Good job, Trevor. Maybe she's getting a roller derby. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good to see. And you all look like you were having a lot of fun there. Definitely something that you need to be keeping up now because they absolutely loved spending time with you. So keep up, that was really wonderful to see. Well done, Jeff. Thanks. Are they supposed to be playing with that? Get your head out of that bag. Why? Because that's not the stuff that you shouldn't even be playing with in the first place. You couldn't clean your room, but yeah, you can play with it. It's with these guys. Can you blame them? No, it's right there. So you ask the children to tidy up their rooms because when they do that, they're going to get their toys back. But then they don't have to tidy up their rooms to get them because they're there on the porch waiting to be played with. What lesson's being taught here? No matter what they do, they get their toys. There is no lesson. Nobody was going to take them away forever. But we were making a point here, and we were teaching the children a lesson. Well, at least that's what I thought. Don't pop my windows. Try not to lie and drive them. Scare me. Just hit the floor. What happened there? We played for almost an hour. Where was the enthusiasm? Where was the energy? Where was the praise? You know he loves baseball. He's playing with somebody who is showing him that really they're not interested, and that person is his mother. It's important for him to have a good relationship with his mother. You've got to make the effort. Their dad has taught them a lot of their um, bathroom talk. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> But I didn't say a lot of that for him to hear. That was clear as day for me. <laughs> He's just as bad, though, uh, just because it's on You tape. think, I, you always say that. I'm not that bad. You need to take responsibility 
and be accountable for how you behave in front of your children. Nobody's perfect. Everybody's going to slip out a word every now and then. But the point is, be aware and acknowledge the fact that you do as well instead of blaming others. What I would like to do with the pair of you today is to reinforce what I've seen here. Okay, there is a lack of motivation and I want you to recognise how important it is to follow through and act on what you say, all right? Okay. So you ready for some more work? Yes. Brilliant, okay, let's go then. Coming up on Super Nanny, Joe finds out the rules were broken. All of these toys, they need to be removed. And throws mom into the deep end. He loves being with you. You've got to recognise that. Want to race them? Oh, there was my bugs. Ah! What? When Super Nanny returns. How are we doing? Good. Dad, how well have both the children done with their talking towers? Today, they deserve a balloon. Okay, why don't we do that? Trevor, Travis, come on. You've done very well today. No potty mouth. The talking towels are working really, really well. And whilst I've been here, Dad has given each child a balloon to place into their talking towers, at which point Travis smiled very broadly with his little dimple showing. Yay! What's well up, boys? Look at that. That's awesome. It is. Uh, when Joe originally brought in the towers, I just had mixed feelings about the potty mouth stopping, but it, it's it's changed. Trevor and Travis know not to say the negative words, the, the just the back talk, anything like that. So it's it's working. All of these toys, they need to be removed. Those toys should have never been out. They should have been locked up in the shed and those children should have been receiving one new toy every time they tidied up their bedrooms. So they needed to go. Yeah. And taken into the garage or shed, wherever. Mm -hmm. Mum and Dad need to get off their butt. They need to stop being lazy and expect things to resolve on their own. Yeah, it's excellent. I think it's so important that Rosemary spends time with the boys to reconnect with them. You've got to show these boys that just because there's a preschool doesn't mean they haven't got mum. So today's the first step in changing that. So today, I'm going to start off with Trevor. How's that going? Do any of these float? This is on top of land. On top of land, this is here? And that's everything that goes in the seat, right? Cool. It was just so good to see Trevor smiling. I mean, he's just generally enjoying spending time with his mum. Want to race them to the other side and back? Ready? <laughs> Let's go. Come on, bugs. Move! What? <laughs> I've realized how much Trevor really craved my attention, and just by giving it to him made all the difference. He loves being with you. Yeah. And I think you've got to recognize that. He wants to spend time with his mummy. There's more energy there. The more time you make to actually have one-on-one -on -one with him, the more you're going to start to connect. He loves it. Look at him. It's absolutely fantastic to see this family really come together. And I think they've made some real progress. Jojo's going now. Again, can you give me a high five? High five, buddy. Give me five. Jojo's leaving now. Give me a high five. <laughs> oh. Take care. Thank you. Keep up the good work, all right? Thanks. You're welcome. I knew with having Joe come here that there were some things that we were going to change, but I did not anticipate at all how much she's done and how much she's helped us. What Joe was giving me here is to not keep the kids at arm's length and just to open up to them. Now, that's a big reward um, to see them open up back to me. It was very important. They know that I love them. Bye, kids. It's always fantastic to leave a family smiling, feeling confident that I can leave and they're going to get on with things and make the most of it. And that's how I felt leaving the Yuva family today. Okay, ready, set, go! Having Joe here has made a lot of things change in our lives. It has made us happier. <laughs> the change in the children that surprised me the most you need to pick up the dinosaurs. Is that they have took on chores. Thank you. I need to find a balance between home and my work life, and I haven't quite gotten that yet. 
but I'm gonna be working on it. So nice, Travis. You kinda look like a little bit of a mummy. Just giving them myself. Yeah, there's a big reward there. Just in their face, you can tell. There's a big change. It makes me feel great to see Jeff spend time with them. <laughs> Before, it was always a chore. Travis and Trevor have been getting along a lot, a lot better. There's a more interaction with them, more kindness. We definitely are a lot happier with one another. We've grown to appreciate each other more. I think we'll be closer, more love. I'm very proud that we all stuck together and got through this. I think Jeff doing a lot of the, the house chores and, and taking care of the kids. Come on, Travis. He's helped me a lot. It's, it's easier now. It's just changed everything. Thank you, though. Breathe, Travis. Look at mommy. Travis, want another pizza? 